I was in Mount Tremblant last weekend and I'm sitting there watching my son strap into a car and I still got to look around like, is this really happening? <laughs> like my kid is going out there and racing a car. It's, it's just amazing. A few years ago, we introduced you to a young man with autism named Austin Riley. He was our athlete of the week. He was a go-kart racer, but now his story has changed slightly as he competes in the Nissan Micro Cup. Austin started karting at eight years old. He is now a three-time go-kart champion and has used his success to get crowds up to speed on autism. He's traveled across North America, Bermuda, and the UK, becoming a vehicle of hope to others. They realize that this kid four years ago couldn't go into a store and order something by himself or um, going anywhere new or meeting somebody new. He had caused a great deal of anxiety, and now you see him traveling the world and speaking in front of a thousand students in a school. That's the tremendous growth the sport of racing has given my son, has given him coping mechanisms he never would have had. You excited? Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's amazing. amazing. But now his story is steering in a different direction. In fact, on his UK tour, he received a call from veteran right. driver Matan Topolnik and his wife Marie Christine Bedard, telling him he would now go from cart to car, driving in the Micro Cup. Austin, you will get a ride for the whole 2017 season in the Micro Cup. The whole season. There was just silence on the other side. They were like, uh, the father clearly, you know, was like, uh, uh, understood what this means, you know, it's like, and he just had a hard time, you know, finding words for, to express himself. Matad and his wife took interest in Austin's story because their son, Thomas, also has autism, and the two had a chance to bond on the raceway. To see them together, it's sort of like our prodigy with our little loved one, the one that makes us do all of those things for us. So it was, I know that this picture, everybody's in love with this, and it's it's so touching for us. It's um, It's really lovely to see them together because it gives us hope, and... That's, I think that's the whole point into this. He's so smooth. It's, it, it is really impressive the way he drives. And I have to say, so clearly these cars are not easy to drive. I've accomplished my goal and my dream and see where it takes us next. Austin's next race will be July 21st to the 23rd in Mount Tremblant, Quebec. Here on Lakeshore, Stella Cuisto, City News.